your supplies in. You got your hooks. You got your leader. You got your verse rattles. If you want to go that route. Your beads. Your swivels. Sinker slider. And lastly, your weight. And we're just going to rig one up. I'll kind of show you how I ru uh, run my leader line to my hook with a snell and use what not I use for rigging up on uh, the swivels as well. So, and hopefully we can get it to look like this. Let's get to it. All right, before I uh, get into rigging one up from scratch, I just wanted to point out uh, the importance of the snell and why I think it's one of the best ways to have your hook on your leader. Um, the main reason I like it is, I mean, you're it's going to keep everything in a straight line, yeah, including your beads, keeping them positioned in the right spot, and uh, most importantly, when a fish comes and grabs it, your hook's, your hook's not way down here or this, it, this will always keep it nice and straight and ensure a better hookup and getting that big boy in. All right, so you're ready to rig her up. So what I do is I start with this leader and before I put a snell on the hook, I will always just make a little single, single knot on there right at the end. Get a little wet, a little lick. Cinch that guy down, just like that. Take your clipper, clip it off. All right, now we can start snelling. So what I do is I'll put it right through the top and you leave a little bit of room there. And then you pretty much just start Wrapping it around. I do about eight. You can go over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what the, that knot does at the end is just kind of ensures it ain't going to slip through. You don't need to do that, but I like to do it. So once you got that eight, eight or so. And you just want to take the other end and go right back on the underside and right through the hole. And you are all snelled up. Ready to go with that. And then, once you get that, grab your beads. Like I said in my other video, I, I do about three, three beads on there. Two and three. Then throw your rattle on. Just make sure you put it on the right way. You don't want to put it on backwards. So current's going to pull it this way. So that's the way you're going to want to throw it on. Get that guy on. Almost done now. Now we gotta grab our swivel. And what I do for this knot, I just do kind of what a knot I just grew up doing is just about uh, five, five turns. And then I uh, go through the bottom loop and then I bring it up and go through the top loop. And that always is pretty reliable for me. Um, this is the worst part about uh, tying up on these with the 60 pound mono. Because it's kind of a pain to turn. And then I'll just run it right through this 
bottom loop right here and then I'll run it right through that loop and then I'll cinch it up always kind of give the knot a lick before you uh, tighten it all up so I'm gonna give it a lick all right and then you just pull it all together These hooks are pretty sharp here. All right, just like that. And clip off the extra. There you go. So this one is all rigged up and ready to go for the leader. And then before you put your braid to your swivel, throw on that rubber bead. Right on there. And you can get your knot on there. And I do the same thing with this one, just five or six wraps. And then right through the bottom loop and up on the top loop, go right through there and cinch that guy up. And we are ready to roll just gotta get our sinker slider on see if I can do this with the camera angle here all right so what what I do is just make a little loop like that and then you just take it through the one end and fold it over so it clips in and go to the other side and do the same exact thing on the other one fold it over click it in you're all ready to go throw your weight on there um yep and then i usually take a lighter to this i don't have one on on me right now but and then just kind of burn that down to a little bit so it's not a big tag on there and you are all set up and ready to huck uh thanks for watching good luck